Handling fatigue. Um, program right now, very high rep, lots of volume, high reps, lots of volume. Um, a lot of the volume is in the beginning of the week on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, I ran and lifted on Tuesday and I played basketball on Wednesday, if you want to count that as a workout. So this is my sixth, I had six workouts this week. Um, so by Friday morning, man, I do not want to go to the gym. Uh, that's a very normal feeling to have. I've been training for a long time. So uh, I just want to give you a couple tips maybe on how I get through it. The way the workouts are set up, you know, towards the end of the week is, is less volume. Uh, half the amount of reps as I was doing at the beginning of the week, I was doing 16 reps at the beginning of this week. And I was only doing eight on Thursday and Friday. And also the weights are not too heavy you know it's like 60 percent of the max or whatever so i know that the weights aren't going to be crazy heavy uh so it's just about powering through it you know it's a it's a big mental game for me uh the hardest part on friday for me is just getting to the gym uh, once i get to the gym i always you know get a good warm-up in i'll jump some rope do some some light core exercises uh, a little bit of dynamic stretching just to get <clears throat> just to get the blood flowing um, and then, <clears throat> and then you just get right into the workout. And to be honest, uh, when you play sports, you know, I'm a football player. I'm not competing in weightlifting or powerlifting or anything. You know, it doesn't matter how you feel on Saturday or Sunday, whenever game day is, you got to jump on the field and you got to perform. Uh, so that's actually a really good thing is on these Fridays. I just kind of look at it like that like, okay, you know, I'm tired uh, Sore banged up from the week But you still got to get in there and you got to get all those reps, you know, a lot of people go in the gym and they want to Maybe take some weight off the bar or they don't want to do as many Sets like this for instance uh, these these ratchet bench press with push-ups was brutal. It was like 80 push-ups, you know, it was five sets of bench with a bunch of push-ups in between. And uh, it's just killer, you know, and I knew that going into the gym, so it's a mental thing, you know, so you just, you just kind of break it down. I just thought about one set at a time, um, but also still that thought process is in the back of my head that it's like, hey man, you gotta perform. What are you gonna do? You can't say, yeah, I don't feel good today. Can we postpone the game till tomorrow? Uh, nothing like that. So, you know, going there always, it's like a character thing. A lot of my guys hear me say all the time, character moments. I'm all by myself in the gym. There's no coach or anything. There's no one telling me how much weight to lift or keeping an eye on me. So it's just all up to me. Are you, you know, am I disciplined enough to, to stay strict and follow the program? Or am I going to take the easy way out? Because no one's looking anyways. Who's going to know? Um, but for me, it's, I just always just stick with the program, no matter how hard it is. Maybe sometimes I'll take a little bit longer of a rest than, than I should, you know, especially being a little bit older. Uh, I don't recover quite as fast in between sets as I used to, but I think I can get back to that. I feel pretty good. Um, uh, today, this week, I felt pretty good. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, I said to one of the trainers who I see every day in the gym, uh, we talk sometimes, I looked at him after and go, man, thank God it's Friday. Because Saturday and Sunday, I take off. Um, and I stress to all the athletes that I coach that they take those rest days and allow your body to adapt and recover um, before you begin the next week of training. I think that's super important. Instead of doing something active over the weekend, try to get off your feet as much as you can. Uh, hydrate, eat well, try not to go out partying and staying up too late. It's important to get en enough sleep. You know, that's another thing that kind of messes up my, my, uh, my energy levels is I have a three-year-old son. And that kid wakes me up every morning at 7.30. It's like clockwork, you know? He's just, he's just, uh, he's a little motor man. Uh, so I don't get the, I don't always get my full eight hours of sleep. I'll try to get a nap in during the day if I can. Uh, but when it comes to the fatigue stuff, man, it's just all about, it's just a mental game for me. I, to be honest, the way I deal with fatigue is I don't deal with it. I, I just pretend like, you know, I'm not tired. It's just, all right, we got to get in there. We got to get the job done. Uh, so for the next hour, I'm not going to feel sorry for myself. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to change anything. You know, you just got to get through it. You know, I tell, I tell a lot of the kids that I coach too, man, you can't go around stuff. You got to go through it. Uh, so that's, that's, uh, my mindset towards the end of the week. 
Um, so I hope uh, I can help some of you guys out who are banged up, feeling sorry for yourself on a Thursday or Friday, uh, not wanting to go to the gym. Just remember that the hardest part is always getting there. You know, once you get in the gym, uh, you get warmed up, it's go time. Um, but yeah, you know, you got to be mentally tough and you got to perform.